with the guitar and the bass, the final chord, the B flat G minor one. Ready? But, I mean, it's going to culminate this evening in a very special event, but it's actually all the work that's gone on this week as well. We think they've had an absolutely fantastic time. The, the workshop day particularly was extremely special for the children. Um, this week we've had five really different days. The first day was spent at the grammar school and we had 15 of our year 9 and 10 boys and they were learning um, workshop, workshop skills with uh, the OAE members and also James and then they were composing um, different pieces and they wrote an instrumental piece um, which has then evolved since then and then in their teams of five students they wrote a chorus or a verse um, for each primary school so that when we went to the primary school we had like a gift of a piece of music for them. And a couple of the grammar boys and James and some other people from University of York and some people from London um, came in to practice some other songs. Um, and we've had um, our students be trained up and then go out and work with our primary partners. I didn't feel nervous at all because we'd been taught all the stuff the day before, so we felt prepared, so we wasn't like just being put into an open thing. We knew what we were doing, and it was very like easy and very like it was very fun. Um, it's been fun because it's it's been nice to be in someone else's shoes, being in the role model kind of shoes. So they're looking up to us, and we're just teaching them how to play music, and we're just enjoying it. All of our students have risen to that challenge. I'm seeing students around school today that are coming out of their shell that are, that are so much more confident on the basis of doing this project and being part of something much bigger. For the secondary students, they've also been participating and being involved, coming up with their new things, but also having to learn about being responsible and um, having a different kind of role. It's a way that we say learn to work with others and they're working as part of a team um, today. They're working, they're, they're, they're mentoring students essentially um, in terms of some of the younger students that they're working with. Um, and so they are for me practicing some very important skills. I mean these are skills which will, t which will take them um, forward in the rest of their lives. But they've learned things about general workshop skills and how you act and how you put yourself forward and portray yourself working with younger students, how to help to enable them to put things together um, and they've put that into practice and become a lot more confident doing it as well. We've definitely got some composers in there, um, some really really creative students at points um, sort of you could just see the cogs whirring in some of their heads in terms of thinking of what's going to go next and had really really great ideas. They've put actually quite a lot of input into the pieces that will be heard tonight. Working alongside the team from OAE and the National Centre of Early Music is just a delight. It always has been, I think it always will be. They're just an amazing group of people and um, all of them just have amazing energy all of the time. Just great creative ideas and just can just turn something tiny into something huge that's really memorable and really interesting. They're just great enablers and just really good at what they do.